Hey guys, I'm Cody Johnson with J5 Tractors and this is the new 2100 series from Mahindra. So this subcon the, sorry, excuse me, this compact tractor comes in a 23 and a 26 horsepower version. Both these machines are hydrostatic. Both of them are four-wheel drive. They're going to come with a mid PTO feature standard. Um, and the, the hydrostatic pedals is a dual pedal instead of a rocker panel, so a lot easier uh, to control. I don't know if you guys ever driven a rocker panel machine or if you're somebody with big feet. It's, it's really hard and kind of awkward to get them into reverse. With the dual pedals, it makes it a lot easier to control and to drive. Now, this tractor is going to come with a skid steer, quick disconnect as standard equipment. Uh, you're going to have a bucket leveling rod on this machine. You've got a stand to take the loader off. Uh, and just like the 1100 series uh, that Mahindra came out with this year, you also have the multi-coupler. It's really easy to take your loader hoses off and reconnect them. Really good feature for taking the loader on and off. You're not going to scrape up your fingers or, or uh, on the quick connects or anything like that when you take them off. Now, uh, um, again, just like the 1100 series, this is going to have the start assist. So if you have, you get on the machine, you try and start it, nothing happens. Uh, this is going to show you right here what's out of position. Either your PTO's in gear, you're not on the brake, or you're not in neutral. Super good feature. I can't tell you how many times we have people call us, hey, my tractor won't start. They think there's something wrong with the machine. And it ends up just being that either their PTO's in gear, they're not hitting the brake or their gear shifter is not in neutral. Now, um, as far as driving the tractor goes, it's going to have a cruise control as standard equipment. So it's really good, especially on a hydrostat tractor when you're out mowing and it's when you start hitting bumps and your foot starts doing this because you're hitting the bumps and the tractor starts jerking around. Using that cruise while you're mowing, you just just steer, just just steer, pay attention to the mower. Don't worry about um, your foot being on the HST pedal comes with a toolbox here now this is the industrial tires option it does have an ag tire option as well the rops here will fold back if you've got a low uh, barn or shed that you want to keep the machine in or if even if you want to keep it in a storage container you can do that by folding the rops now this is a true cat one connection so it's going to accept uh, all cat one uh, tractors or sorry cat one implements uh, Full draw bar down there. I've seen on some of these compact and subcompact tractors, they'll have almost like a lawn and garden little L tab like bracket there that's supposed to be what you tow a trailer with or tow, tow a ground engaging implement with. This is a true draw bar that's bolted to the back of the frame. You're not going to have to worry about bending it or breaking it off. Um, and then you've got on this machine, you've got a USB port for charging. You've got your 12 volt outlet. Of course, you got your cup holder. Everybody knows you got to have that. Now, this, this piece right here, this is a stand for when you're maintaining the machine. You take this piece off, you lift your loader in the air. You're going to put it between here, here, and here. That's going to hold your loader up. That way, you can maintain the machine, work on your engine, change your, change your engine oil, all that kind of stuff, and you don't have to worry about the loader coming down on you. Now, uh, now, this is the 23 horsepower version here. So between the two machines, there's no difference. The, the horsepower is done through fuel delivery. The engine's the same. The wheels and tires are the same. The loader's the same. So as far as your ground engaging work or your what you can lift, what you can push, what you can pull, the stuff that I call tractor work, using your loader or, or pulling or pushing something, the capability is going to be exactly the same. Now, where the 26 horsepower version is going to outshine the 23 is when you're running a shredder or running a tiller or something that needs that extra PTO horsepower. That's where you're going to notice the difference between the two machines and how they perform. Now, in the engine bay here, you know, batteries right up front, really easy to get to. You've got a quick disconnect here on your negative cable. So if you're working on the machine or if you're going to put it up for the winter, you can disconnect that. It's going to save your battery now you'll see here on our radiator we flip this little piece up here pull this up and now we've got a quick screen on our radiator so if you're like me right now you can tell this machine's dusty i'm in texas and it hasn't rained in about i think they said 43 days and it is dry guys i mean it, it the ground is dry so 
that makes it to where when you're mowing or using your machine you can pull that out tap it off on the tire put it back in and, and you're ready to go it just gives you an a added layer of protection for your machine now uh, Oh, and the hydrostat on this machine, I should say, it is a three-range hydrostat. Though, again, in, in the world of compact tractors, a lot of them that you get on will just be two-range, low and high. And low is for low is too low to mow, and high is too high to mow. So, really, what this does is it gives you those three ranges. Low is going to be for loader. Medium is going to be for mowing and high is going to be traveling from place to place now we'll hop up hop on our 26 horsepower version over here and take it for a spin take it take it out of four-wheel drive and here's all our tilt steering here so here this is what i was talking about start assist operator pto brake neutral you see it says i'm not pressing the brake push down on the brake it turns green we're ready to go rev up a little bit pretty quiet machine this is a three-cylinder mitsubishi diesel this is actually the exact same engine that they're putting in the 1626 or have for years. So I'm really glad they decided to stay with that power plant because we've been selling the 1626 for years. It's a very reliable engine. You don't have a lot of problems with it. It's really good on fuel efficiency. And I'm just glad they decided to stick with it. That way we know we've got a proven power plant in this machine and we know exactly how it's going to perform, how long it's going to last, and then our customers are going to be happy with it. Uh, you check the turning radius here. I mean, guys, that's pretty sharp. That, that's almost like a zero degree turn. And it, this thing is really, really, really turning sharp. Loader, fender mounted loader valve. So instead of reaching up here or reaching down here, I just rest my arm and I can control the loader. Makes it very, very comfortable. Now, you got a dual action uh, loader valve so I can lift and curl or I can go down and dump all at the same time. I've got a float function on the loader. I got a float function on the bucket. Really good features there. Oh. I'm really glad that they that I'm really really happy with this machine. You know, we have we've had the Max 26 for a while and we had the 1626, but this is kind of a blend of what was best between both models. Now this this machine is more maneuverable than the 1626. It's more capable than the Max 26. And it's really, really got a lot of good features that bring a lot of value to a small homeowner or a homesteader. So, you know, a machine like this is going to be good for somebody that owns two to really anywhere upwards of 20 to 30 acres. As long as you're not trying to feed cattle or move large round bells, this machine's gonna do everything that you need it to do. And it, it can level ground, you can move rock, move dirt, uh, you can maintain a road, you can reshape a road. Uh, all those things it's gonna do really, really well. Uh, the only thing that you can't do with this machine is move large round bells with the loader. So, you know, and again, that's not what that machine, this machine's built to do. This machine is built to be just like me i mean you see you see my place here i got a small garden i've got some stuff over there i need to clean up um, if you're just trying to maintain your own property this is a really good machine for it so uh, again i hope all this information was what you were looking for if you guys have any questions or if you see anything i have anything different that y'all want me to do with these videos uh, y'all let me know 
I will be testing the capabilities of these machines. So uh, keep, keep a lookout for that. Uh, you know, I know what they're rated for on paper, but I want to see what, you know, what I can actually put in that bucket and haul so I can give people a real realistic kind of expectation of what the machine can do. So, appreciate it, guys. Again, I'm Cody Johnson with J5 Tractors. Thank you.